Good morning and welcome to the vlog. So, I'm currently in a rush. I need to get to the train station because I'm off to the print rest awards. I'm leaving my hair in pink curls whilst I get on the train. I know people are going to give me weird looks, but I don't want my hair to drop and it's not very nice weather outside. So yes, let's go. Whoop whoop, I'll chat later when I'm less flustered. Toodle pip. Hi, I'm Misha Grimes. Welcome to the vlog. We're in London. Woohoo! Yeah. Hello. So I'm back. I'm currently at the train station. Managed to be eight minutes early for my train, which never happens, I won't lie. This lighting is something of an interesting sort. So right now, I am at the train station in pin curls with this annoying bit of hair, which I'm like, excuse me, why aren't you curly? And I've got my outfit on for later. So, I've got this stripy top shop top, bright yellow trousers, I've got my Nike trainers, I obviously won't be wearing those, but I didn't want to get the train and get the tube and heels. And then, excuse me woman, I'm trying to talk about my outfit. We good? No? Okay, you go, you go. I'll wait my turn. Just in case you want to contact the British Transport Police, here's the phone number. Okay. We good? Yep, my turn? Okay, thank you, honey. Now, I've also got my yellow blazer with me on a hanger that I'm wearing, obviously, with the trousers, but I don't want to put it on and really crease it, because, like, I'm already creasing these trousers so much, and I literally spent, like, an hour ironing them. I don't know what this piece of hair is either. I've also got my bag. I've got, like, a little bag with me. Then I've also got a bigger bag with me, and then I've also got my suitcase behind here. So this is going to be an interesting trip. Scarlett, I hope you're looking forward to seeing a dishevelled Misha. Oh, and also, I will take out my pin curls. Don't worry. Toodle pip. See you in, I think it's like Vauxhall that I need to get to, and then I'm getting the tube to Platform King's Cross two, to leave my luggage 10, to meet Scarlet. So, see you there. And I'm back, 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 back again, again, again. Grab a friend, friend, friend. Oh, wait, I'm literally in an empty carriage. There is literally no one in here. So, you know, I could have a little party and do what I wish. Not that I will be. But yeah, it's like 10.24. I am making my way to Vauxhall. I'm making my way downtown. Also, as I was waiting there, this girl walked past me with her boyfriend and she has pink curls in as well. And we like looked at each other and I'm like, yeah, you're a fellow weirdo in pink curls. Glad I'm not the only one. I love what, if I was getting this train though at peak business times, it's chocker, you generally can't get on. And like, if I turn up in this outfit, people be looking at me like, can I help you? And I'm like, yes, you can. I'm Misha Grimes and you should subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see weird stuff like this all the time, random person on the train. Obviously there's actually no one here right now, but anyway, yes, I'm going to do some work because I've got about, I think it's like a 40 minute journey, I'm not even sure, but I'll be back soon. Hello. So I made it to see Scarlet. I've now taken out my pin curls. Um, I'm a little bit curly whirly, don't know how to feel about it, but we'll go with that. So, Scarlett, you've obviously seen on my channel before, and we are off to the Princess Trust Awards. I'm like very intrigued who's gonna meet, and I've made a bet with mum that I need to meet, meet Prince Charles. Oh, he'll definitely be there. Yeah, but it's whether like we could, mum was like, make sure Scarlett gets a photo. I'm like, mum, I don't think you pose for a photo with Prince Charles. Do you know, I don't think you're allowed a selfie or like a picture with anyone from the royal family, unless it's taken Dang. by a particular photographer. Oh. Um, well, I think you are the official photographer for the royal family, so we should be good. But yeah, we're just in an Uber on the way to, what is it, like the photographer's gallery or something? I think so. Something like that. Reception. Yes, so we shall see you when we get there. And I had a massive malarkey with my suitcase, but we won't go there. It's fine. Did you see that, that guy literally like moved me out the way and was like, I'll sort your suitcase. Yeah. I was like, okay then. And then his wife behind me goes, yeah, he'd do that or he'd pinch your bum. And I was like, okay then. You're a cool wife because you do not care. But yeah, we'll see you when we get there. So we have arrived at the photography gallery and I've actually been here before on like a school trip to the museum. So we are we going to floor three? Everything 
going on and I mean that kind of gives it away but we have arrived so we're at like the free bloggers event we just met our escort who's going to basically be escorting us onto the red carpet and then also to our seats and they also said that our seats we are going to be sat behind was it behind behind Tom Jones Ollie Mers with Cheryl Cole they did I'm like okay. some good seats yeah Get married in yellow. We'll see, we'll see. Look at that. Got my cheeky water. <laughs> Scarlett's got a champagne. Not that it's going to get drunk. It's only like 12 o'clock. But... Thank you so much for coming today. Um, I'm Jess. I'm a digital marketing manager here at the Princess Trust. And I've been leading our work with bloggers and bloggers to date. So it's amazing to see so many of you in front of us. You're right. <laughs> um, and yeah, basically, I went straight to a 12 week team program which was very difficult for me because for a while now, uh, for multi uh, a multitude of years, I've struggled with depression, uh, other mental health. So Scarlett is just getting her coat and then we are off. We are in the second group. Also, Scarlett's having an interview apparently, which she didn't know about, so that's very exciting. But we're now making our way. I love how people are like hanging out the window. It's like just casual Tom and Jones just chilling like a couple of feet in front. And like everyone's trying to get his autograph. I'm quite offended that nobody's asking for the mic. You know, they just don't realise that I'm Misha Rooks. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on, but it's raining and we're going on a little adventure. So, <laughs> Scarlett's looking her finest right now. <laughs> I'm just waving at them. <laughs> Don't fall on your face. <laughs> Great friend, really supportive. We're on the red carpet. So we're now like rushing in because apparently Prince Charles is about to arrive. So look, there's all the paparazzi. We kind of walked the red carpet, kind of didn't get photographic evidence. Go. There may not have been photographic evidence. Maybe we can try now. Um, but I did go on the red carpet. Scarlet can confirm. <laughs> so we're just making our way inside. Let's go. Too kind, mum. 
mum, you've got a chocolate bar coming your way. Um, and then we've also got lots of little lollies. I don't know if you can hear me, by the way. And then a little card with my name on it. Should we see? I don't have enough hands. So, just undoing my card. Literally, I can see. She said they're trying to watch it. So, um, Cheryl Cole's just walked past Ollie Murs, Philip Schofield, the whole lot. And just in the, uh, the final seconds, while we wait to start this afternoon's Princess Trust Awards, just a couple more tweets and answers for you. Oh. Uh, so excited to celebrate young UK role models uh, on the Palladium this afternoon. Scarlett tweeted, just so that we can try and be featured on the screen. Come on, guys. And more money. Uh, how do you? Uh, it's not on the big screen. I'm going to be so disappointed. Please remain standing for the national anthem. I'm Tom, I'm Tom Rebell, and I'm a young ambassador for the Prince's Trust. And I'm going to share with you my story, my experiences. Hashtag. What oh, I mean, that's the unit? That's a hashtag. It's as cool as the time. It's a hashtag. Uh, it's okay. Which I know our voice from above, Adrian, has been encouraging you to use. There is Adrian, our voice from above. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. positive outcomes for all involved and all of those who use it. The following video shows what this remarkable group of young people achieved. For the Princess Trust, we're back and we're very quiet. They don't really talk, the American people just kind of kept their um, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Daisy, just want to pick up where uh... Where you left off, thanks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, can I just first of all offer my heartfelt congratulations to all those remarkable young people who have been recognised today at, uh, at these Princess Trust and TK Maxx and Home Sales <laughs> There's like loads of people waiting for people like Tom Jones to come out and I'm just there like, hi I'm Misha Grimes, do I not count as someone good enough? But yeah, um, now we're going to head to, is it the toy room or something? Yeah, it's the toy room for the little post, post celebrations, I mean, yeah, we'll go with that. So yeah, very fun. See you there. Got my goodie bag, it adds to my look. You know, another colour to throw that in there. So, joyful. Also, apologies about this light, I look electric orange. I just well, come to somewhere called like the toy room, and there's basically a massive toy on the ceiling, and then look, all this Mickey Mouse. It's like being back at Disney. <laughs> so, yeah, don't really know what's going on, but we're going to have an explore. Oh, Scarlett, so it's yeah. all the way. Do you know where you're going? Oh, no. So. It's a bit dark. I feel like I might come out here. I'm just getting into my PJs, but I've made it to Scarlet's. I'm currently in their spare bedroom. And it's so cute. And look, look what Scarlet did. She's the cutest person ever. It says Misha. Sadly, it doesn't light up because we haven't got any batteries in it, but it's the thought that counts. And yeah, I'm just going to get into my jammies. We made it back. We got some food from Pret 
and I'm just gonna have a nice little cozy one in. I'm very excited to get these clothes off because wearing a co suit all day is a lot of effort. And also, I've got a bra on right now and I never wear a bra. Sorry if you didn't need to know that, but I never wear a bra. I'm currently wearing a bra and the wires are digging into my soul and I don't like it. So yeah, I'm gonna have that feeling. You know, when you, I'm gonna do this right now. You know when you take your bra off after a long day? I'm gonna have that feeling. Oh, it's a strapless one as well, which I think is worse on the comfort scales. But yeah, we had such an amazing time at the awards. It was honestly so eye-opening and just, oh, the stories were heart-wrenching, but also heartwarming. Is that sort of thing where they break your heart? Oh, I've just taken off my bra. I'm a free woman. Yes, back to what I was saying. So it's the sort of thing where they break your heart and they piece it back together again because the stories were just so beautiful and other oh, people, like, honestly... It was crazy. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's honestly so dark. So I might try that. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. Are we good? Oh, are we? <sighs> so, yes, no. So it's so incredible to see the the stories of the young people, like, oh, just honestly, they were from all over the country. There were some from Scotland, like there were some from Wales. They were literally from everywhere. I mean, also I was in the presence of um, Prince Charles, which is pretty darn cool, along with so many famous faces. It's so amazing to see that so many celebrities endorse and really just like promote the Princess Trust and work with them. So Cheryl Cole was there and she's actually opened up a Princess Trust house basically like a center in newcastle which is where she's based she was talking about unemployment rates within the northwest and for younger people and it's just like you just don't stop and think about these things very often so it was so just oh i felt very like uplifted by it all and it was such a lovely group of bloggers and everything like that like it was so exciting it was such a fabulous day I had such a great time. Thank you so much to Scarlett for inviting me. And thank you for having me in your beautiful home. And thank you for everything, because you are honestly the nicest human I've ever met. Scarlett, hopefully you're watching this. And you are amazing. I love you lots and lots. And it's so crazy to think I literally didn't even know you like two weeks ago. And now I'm currently in your spare bedroom. Soz. <laughs> but no, thank you so much to Scarlett for inviting me, because she is the reason I was there. Uh, we did walk the red carpet, even if you guys didn't really see it. It was a bit of a rush because Prince Charles was arriving as we were arriving. And I mean, obviously he takes priority. That's fine. I'll accept. You're Prince Charles. I'm just Misha Grimes. Like, that's absolutely fine. But some of the other famous faces who were there, and I think I might have got some of them on footage. So Philip Schofield, and I'm like major girl crushing on Philip Schofield. Like, I absolutely love him. Um, and then also Tom Hardy, the one from Batman. Now, I don't pay attention to anything like that, but he is mighty fine, like yas. And the girl that won the award, um, I can't remember. It was the final award, and it was um, in association with HomeSense and Tiki Max, because they're actually who sponsored the event. And, um, oh, honestly, she was so funny. She was obviously being presented her award by Tom Hardy and also Prince Charles. And I think it was like the captain of Arsenal or something, a French gentleman, I'm not even sure. And also somebody else. And she just got on stage, literally walked past Prince Charles, like strolled on straight past him, straight to Tom Hardy and put her arm around him. And it was the funniest thing ever. Like I was crying. And then Anton Deck, yeah, Anton Deck were presenting. Oh, honestly, it's just been such an amazing day. And the weather held out. It wasn't raining, which was amazing because as we can see, my hair wouldn't have dealt well with the rain. Um, it is quite tangly though, and I'm not sure why lost a bit of hair um, and I need to try and find a hairband and try and find my pyjamas also I don't actually know if you got to see my whole entire outfit I don't think you did I'll pop a photo on the screen right now that I posted on Instagram of my whole look and I was actually dressed all in Topshop now you guys have probably heard me in the past talking about Topshop and saying that it's quite expensive and I do still believe that but coincidentally I was dressed all in Topshop and um yeah, two bits. This top and the boots were my Christmas present. Christmas? Birthday present. 
and then the suit I picked up in my come shopping with me and it actually returned some bits so I only ended up paying theoretically I only ended up paying like £11 for the suit obviously I spent the money on the previous items so I didn't actually spend £11 on it but it's the thought that counts but yeah I was incredibly bright I was incredibly overdressed as per usual because that's Misha when am I ever not overdressed like does anybody else do that does anybody else always like not dress appropriately for the occasion I just can't help it like I'm just one of those people that don't do casual if I do do casual it's how you guys see me in my vlogs where I literally have no makeup on and I'm in like dirty pajamas or I'm really dressy like there's no in between with me I'm either all or nothing and I just can't help it um but yeah, I'm just trying to find all my belongings. Mum ironed this before I left. Soz, Mum. Soz. Love you. Whoopsies. But no, I'm so excited to see Mum. She's been away in Bath with Dad for like a Christmas present retreat. A bit late, but you know, it's the thought that counts. Gathering all my belongings. Got some fake tan with me because my legs are going to be out tomorrow, so I don't want to be pasty. And I have fake tanned, but I wanted like a bit of glow. Of course, the pajamas that I have with me are my avocado pajamas from my birthday. They have been washed. Don't fret. I'm not dirty. I promise. But they're just so cute. I had to. I had to. Oh, I remember. I was practically packing, so I put them in my bag. <laughs> Here we go. What do you do? Okay, I'm now gonna get these bad boys on and I'm gonna love you and leave you and I'll see you later. I'm just gonna. Scarlet probably thinks I've run away or something. I've been up here for so long. But yeah, thanks for watching. Not that this video is ending now, but maybe it is. Who knows? But yeah, I've had such an amazing day. So, see you in a sec. So, we're currently sat on the sofa. As we can see, all of us. Um, and we were debating going live, and I've put a poll on Instagram, and so Scarlett. And we've had a few people saying, no, go away, which is totally fine, because, I mean, I wouldn't want to watch me at this time either. But, yeah, we're a bit scared. I've never done an Instagram live before. And I'm you're there looking gone. all beautiful, and then I look like an absolute couch potato. Can we see these people? Can, I don't even know if you can see. <laughs> Should I see how many votes no I've had on mine? Um... 49 yes, 21 go away. That's quite a few go away. Yeah. Like, people really, they don't really care about us, to be fair. I don't blame them. I'm not sure I'd want to see me go live either. But... I voted no. Aw, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I just click yes? I mean, not yes. What's it called? Start, Start. Like video. I'm <laughs> scared, but kind of want to do it at the same time. Shall I? Let me get you doing it. Do that. No, it's alright. You can leave it like. Oh wait, there. it's not focusing. Come on. Oh, come on, camera, stop being blurry. Okay, oh, there we go. Don't say anything. Dun dun. Because it's it's live. Ready? Dun dun. <laughs> dun dun. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can add you. Oh, can you? Shall I add you? Oh, is that how it works? Oh, go live with. Oh, choose someone. We don't know what's going on. Search button at the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is jazzy. You can tell we're newbies. Oh, so is maybe it gonna, not. Does it not work? No, I don't think so. I think maybe... Oh, go live with. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, sorry. Oh, there's four people! Five people! Oh, no. <laughs> We've never done this before. No, so can, can you tell? Complete novices. Oh, we're like, we're on many screens right now. Yeah. <laughs> we're being played to ourselves. <laughs> Oh. I, I might try and... Oh, look! Oh, is so, it working? Yeah, it is. Um, do you think primer does anything? Because I always use and it clings to everything. Sorry, I'm really bad at reading. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read right now. Um, wait, let me try. It's really... Yeah, okay. do you want me to scroll? How do people do lives? Because my arms are aching. Yeah, so And this has been hand. like three minutes. So, oh, you're basically talking about primers so i never used to be into primers so, from those little clips you may have seen that we did an instagram live and it may have lasted an hour but yeah you know, how did that happen complete accident if you if you tuned in then thank you very much yeah because i mean i hope we were kind of interesting we were yeah what were we even talking about we like, chatted about everything we, poo yeah i was about to say i think we were talking about poo. camping yeah. avocados oh, of course so it just stopped recording mid-conversation because my card was full but that kind of means okay we should shut up now this vlog is probably long enough so we can zoop so yes um i'll be vlogging tomorrow scarlet will be with 
I'll be with Scarlett again because we've got the um, dinner at ours, so very exciting. I'm very excited to see what their food is like. Mm. Like very excited. Yeah. Very intriguing. Did you let them know that you were? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Allergies 101, us, we're the awkward ones. I always feel really bad saying it. I'm like, I'm really sorry, yeah. I'm that awkward person. I know. But yeah, so we are going to hit the hay, we're going to go to bed, and yeah. I hope you enjoyed our Instagram live. If you tuned in, let me know if you'd like to see any of those in the future. We will probably be doing one when Scarlet's down in the Cotswolds oh, with yeah, Mama Grimes as well. That'll be really cute, yeah. won't it? So yeah, I'm sure we'll do that. But we're going to love you and leave you. And yeah, signing off for the evening. Toodle pip, night night. Mm.